hi today i'm gonna show you all my beauty uh, makeup purchases of 2021 this video i saw doing by many people so i decided to do it too and let's get started because um uh, there are not so many products but um this video will be longer than 10 minutes i think uh, let's get started with the mascara. This is Pupa Vamp mascara in the brown shade. I, you see me wearing it today. It's very pretty. And this mascara from um, Gyeonga N9 was bought uh, from the drugstore uh, gift with the purchase. And it, it's, all, it's also good, but it's black. I like it. Already repurchased it already was re-given to us as a, as a gift for purchase, yeah. Um, I have two powders from Debbie, one matte one and one shimmery one. And the shimmery one is um, kind of, I don't know how to say that, it's um, it's written on the packaging that it should be um, good for any skin tone, but I don't think so because uh, this shimmery one will look very grey on dark skin tones, I think. But uh, this powder from Debbie, Powder Experience, uh, is number one. It's a normal matte uh, setting powder. I like it, I set my face with it today. Um, I also bought this uh, Velvet Skin Loose Powder from Astra and uh, I transformed it into a super mega big uh, eyeshadow because I put this highlighter from El Bulario in it and uh, it became a super mega big eyeshadow right now. Um, this highlighter from um, last year's collection from Valentine's Day Ray of Love Radiant Highlighter from Kiko is not a highlighter in my opinion it's more like um, um, powder because it doesn't give much glow I tried to swatch it here but you don't see much glow on my hand I think it's just a powder and I will use it as a powder radiant powder this is a product for brows uh, brow pomade from uh, Astra that I use mostly in the uh, summer because it's um, water resistant so it resists my uh, um, um, sweat too um talking about blushes i bought two blushes one of them i didn't buy actually uh i bought it as a an eyeshadow and sought to use it as a transition shade the pinky one but unfortunately it didn't work well so i mixed it in with another eyeshadow that didn't work well from catrice both eyeshadows from catrice did not work well and i mixed them in together to create this uh, new um, blush and I'm wearing it today what you see on, on my face sometimes too is um, this uh, smart color, color blush uh, number 11 uh, Orchidea from Kiko this is a um, uh, Barbie doll blush too I love those colors. Uh, then I have this uh, BB cream from Garnier. Garnier is cruelty free, so I bought it. But I didn't know that they have only two colors in this BB cream. So I will not repurchase this BB cream anymore because of that. This is a second pa pack of it. This has 50 ml in it, so it's more convenient to buy because uh, it's more than 30 ml that usual BB creams have. 
but uh, I will not buy it because of that reason because how should darker skinned ladies should use this product if they don't have their shade in this range at all from NYX I bought um, this palette of concealers and I use these two shades to conceal my under eyes sometimes but not right now I'm, I'm trying to use up a pupa concealer so I did not use it a lot but it doesn't dry out my under eyes and that is important and also I have this Ritual Extreme Fixing Spray from Astra um, this is very good and it, it makes my uh, makeup last longer actually I think so I convinced myself of that. Now let's talk about pencils, eye pencils. So I have um, four of them to show to you. First of all, this Astra one that I bought in, uh, at the same day with that um, fixing spray. This is Deep Black Smoky that was recommended by um, the Russia Tattoo here on YouTube. And um, this is as long as my thumb right now. I will not repurchase uh, any pencils because I prefer eyeshadow to pencils and I under understood it this year. I also have these three pencils from Kiko. They all had uh, one darker uh, part and one um, lighter part, like this one. But these two have no darker part anymore because I used it up. And uh, the lighter part I will use an, as an eyeshadow base. And this uh, uh, one has still the darker part so I will use it up too but I will not purchase any um, eye pencils anymore because I prefer a shadow um, talking about eyeshadow <laughs> I bought two glitter primers from NYX this year because I only had an opportunity to buy two on the Amazon website it was on sale and I really like it. I used it under eyeshadows too and it worked very well. The glitter I used it with is uh, this um, glitter number no. 2 rose from NYX. Uh, this is very pretty. If you would like to try some shade from of glitter from NYX, uh, try this one because it's the prettiest from their range, I think. Um, talking about some stick eyeshadows, I have two of them here. Uh, first of all, this Jumbo from Astra that um, is green and uh, this is a very elegant type of green eyeshadow and it's very big. I think even a princess would wear this type of green on the, her eyes because it's very elegant. And this one is uh, Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick and number 46. Um, this is kind of a mauve but also green shade. It's a multi-chroma eyeshadow. And I did not test it well yet to tell you how it works but um, in the nearest future I will test it. I also did not test this product from uh, Kiko yet uh, very much, even though it was recommended to me by Katya. I will link her channel uh, in the comments too. This is Bright Duo Baked Eyeshadow number no. 3 from Kiko, from their uh, older line. And uh, this costed me like 3 euros, very inexpensive on sale. Um, this Pupa uh, Vamp eyeshadow I received as a <laughs> gift from Pupa because I bought another eyeshadow some time ago and it did not work well so they decided to give me this and 
now I have two eyeshadows in the same shade that one has a pan this one will have a pan this summer I promise you and um, let's talk about uh, palettes I have three palettes here first of all this um, sleek original palette it is all shimmery uh, only this black one is not shimmery but I love it and I chose it as my pansy palette for 2022 and uh, it has three pens and two broken shades I like using shimmers in my um, crease so I'm, I'm not afraid of this palette Uh, I also bought this Catrice uh, palette, uh, Composable. Um, this has two shades that were recommended to me by um, Eva Beauty, a Belarusian YouTuber. I will link her channel um, down in the comments. Mr. Gay and me and chocolate cake by the ocean I bought under her um, recommendation. Also I bought Top Addict and Metallic Lights and as you see uh, Top Addict has a big uh, um, pen on it because I used it on my brows too. I also have this um, Brand this way eyeshadow palette that I could not buy, could not not buy um, because it was so recommended here on YouTube by many YouTubers. Uh, this eyeshadow palette is so versatile because you can make monochromatic looks with these two and these two. You can make this as a you know corner highlight. You can make this as a transition shade. So. This is a very versatile palette and uh, I really like it. This is the last palette I bought. Uh, let's talk about uh, lip products. Two lip balms of my life. <laughs> my favorite ones, Vaseline lip balms. Uh, lip therapy. One from Vizala, another called Rosy Lips, 20 grams of product. This um, rosy lips one has a pen already, and this um, other one will have a pen very soon. I use them a lot, uh, and every crust of your lip will be softened by this lip balm. I also bought them as gifts for my friends. Um, I love them so much. They are sold on Amazon. And um, talking about lip balm, I also have two other lip balms. Uh, this one um, was also given in the drugstore, the same drugstore, uh, to my mom. This uh, smells like chocolate and it's not that hydrating, but the smell is very, very, very <laughs> good. This smells like blackberry and this is called blackberry shine by labello labello is like a nivea uh, brand and this was recommended in one by one youtuber i don't know her name uh in her minimalist makeup collection she said she uses it as a um, lipstick when she wants to be elegant but i don't i have no occasion to use this because i don't exit my house without a mask so this is a big problem more mask friendly products for lips I bought this year are these two uh, lip stains first of all this um, aqua lip stain by um, Astra Pure Beauty number 4 Tutti Frutti this is what I'm wearing right now on my lips and this lip stain is very very uh, good it lasts on your lips uh, 
almost all day long mm, at least until you eat something oily like pizza I also bought this um, long-lasting color lid marker from Kiko in the shade 103 and it was kind of um, a little bit a little disappointment because um, I thought it would be more punchy but this is much more nude than it seems. Uh, this is uh, like an orangey red in the packaging, but on the lips you have to pack it on to see the orangey color. But I use it nonetheless. It has a lot of product. Uh, then I have bought this also a nail polish from DM from um, Trend It Up double volume and child nail polish in number 30. Unfortunately, this is not produced anymore, but this is the shade. I like it so much. Also on my nails. And this is uh, the last product I will show you in this video. Aquilina Pink Sugar. Uh, Thirty ml of product. It smells like mm, candy. Yeah, it smells like candy. I like it very much. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you later. I will count all the products and will tell you in the comments how many of them I have. Goodbye.